the owl skull. Cool, you don't hear that at home very often. Right, I'm at the car park here for the Old Man of Star and climbing it now for sunrise. So I'm everything will organise, backpack on, I need to get my head torch out and head up the trail. Again, it's early, it's only half five or so, maybe, maybe yeah, 25 to 6, so um, early this morning, but we'll head up anyway and see what's happening. Uh, really calm conditions here this morning and not a cloud in the sky, the sky is full of stars, so I'll go up and see if I can get a photograph or two of that. Right, let's go. A start a Sunday morning, eh? Down there, a little bit hard to make out just at the moment, but that's the old man of Star. You can see the big black rock formation. Um, looking south here, you're looking down beyond that black fada and out into the sea there, and then away across right round here, looking east where the sun's rising. That's all the Scottish mainland. Definitely the best time of the day to be anywhere. Get up early, no matter what you're photographing, I keep telling people. Wildlife, all summer, five o'clock in the morning, best time of the day to be out. And the same here, it's only camping much after seven. Nobody here, whole place to myself. And this morning, there's not a breath of wind. Yesterday morning, it was just gale and rain in my face, it was a nightmare trying to photograph anything. This morning is the complete opposite. So I have the drone with me this morning. When it gets a wee bit lighter I'll stick the drone up too, get a few shots with that. But yeah, fantastic place and fantastic morning for it. Just need to wait now until when the sun rises it'll light this whole scene up, the light coming in from the left hand side. So. That's what I'm waiting on now, but I'll take a few photographs in between with the colour coming in the sky and stuff here over in the east.
Well, that's me done up here. I'll stick a few photographs up. I'm going go now to try to find my drone. Uh, I put it up earlier on with a full battery and flew lovely, no bother, before the sun came up. And as soon as the sun came up, I tried to put it up again with another full battery. It flew out past the edge of this cliff. Announced it was landing. Announced the battery was critical. I went straight down. There's people down there and they did shout to me that it landed okay, so I'm just going now to find it. But anyway, it'll be fine. But isn't this a class looking place? And that's the old man of star now with the sun up. Beautiful spot, no wind, so I'm going down to Loch Fada now. See if there's any reflections. <laughs> Didn't record much today at all. Made it out to Neast Point here this evening for sunset. Uh, I found my drone that time this morning. It landed nicely, all four feet. No damage at all, lucky enough. Uh, I had the drone up here. You've maybe seen a couple of photographs already. Didn't chance to follow on. Not sure what the issue was this morning, but put a different battery on and flew anyway. So all's good. But that's Neast High Lighthouse. After it been clear blue skies all day, the cloud came in out this evening and kind of killed sunset. There was a wee bit of light on the cliffs there out towards the lighthouse, but not a big pile. And then the cloud covered the sun just at the horizon, so there was no colour in the sky at all. So that's it for today. Uh, heading now back to Portree. It's only 30 something miles, but the roads around here, Google Maps is telling me it's an hour and 10 minutes. So. That's an average of less than 30 miles an hour. Some of the roads are narrow and windy. But anyway, back to the hotel, get something to eat. And I'm heading up to the quarrying tomorrow morning again, so hopefully get a decent sunrise there. Right, talk to you later. Thank you.